<clears throat> just wanted to uh, talk real quick about my my coffee here. I don't know if you can see my face in the... And uh, essentially, I, uh, I heard a really interesting uh, radio program where the presenter had been diagnosed with a uh, really terrible liver disease and uh, he had to take medication that basically put him on the couch with diarrhea and, and nausea for two or three days straight. And uh, it's a real hard treatment to do and it's all self-induced. So he uh, very smartly developed a self-reward system. So what he would do is he would go get uh, seven or eight movies, because he liked movies. He would line them all up beside the couch and uh, he would take his medication. Then he would watch all seven movies during this, the uh, sickness attacks. And what he said was very interesting, and it rung true to me, and he said, uh, people all have to, oh yeah, and then, sorry, at the end of his treatment, he comes back to the doctor, and the doctor says, he's the first uh, person they've ever had who actually took all his treatments on time, on, on schedule, uh, because everybody else is too uh, disheartened by the agony of the symptoms and the side effects. So he, uh, he, what he said that really uh, rung true to me is he said people have to realize that everybody is Homer Simpson and whatever you're telling yourself you have to do if you don't want to do it you have to develop a reward system so his reward system was watching movies because he liked movies so for me um, obviously I love working on bikes but uh, today my work day started at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and now I'm done work and I'm here and uh, it's, you know it's exhausting everybody's busy everybody has lots to do but uh, one of my little tricks is I reward myself with one of these coffees and if I'm honest I don't drink this brand particular brand of coffee regularly I, I prefer really strong French press coffee over uh, espresso roast but uh, this one I it's so bad that I drink it with sugar and cream <laughs> so uh, on my way down here, I usually pick up one of these on the way, just as my Homer Simpson reward. So yeah, anyways, my recommendation, if you're working on a project that you gotta motivate yourself for, uh, just never forget, you and me and everybody else, we're all Homer Simpsons. Cheers. This next song, you know what I'm gonna do? This song really happened to me down in Durham, North Carolina, you know. When I was down there, you know, I was had old lady, you know, I used to stay going from her every night, you know, no one stay at home, you know. So my old lady told me, said, son, you keep it quiet, I said, staying like that, man. Come back here, my beetle chain the lock on the door. I said, you can't do that to me, woman, cause I pay the rent here. She said, well, you keep it doing it. I said, well, I'm not sure, keep on. I just keep on going out, staying late at night, coming home early in the morning, kicking dishes off the table, knocking the chairs over, and doing a little of everything. But I come in one Friday night, about half past ten, trying to get the key in the lock, and I couldn't get it in. She hollered at the window. I told you I got chain and lock on that door. I said, yes, and you showed it, baby, because I can't get in there no more. But one thing I can do was sit outside and make up this song. My baby chained the lock on the door. My baby done chain. Well, she done chain the lock on the door. Well, she done chain the lock on the door. Well, she said that key you got tearing. Woo! Won't fit this old lock no more. I went home last night about half past ten. I'm trying to get the key in that lock. And I couldn't get it in for the woman done chain. Well, she done chain that lock on the door. Well, she said that little rusty key you got, sonny. Woo! Won't fit this old lock no more. 
Well, that I was standing all out there by myself, you know, people. I want to let y'all know I can see a little bit, you know, but I couldn't see a thing that night because it was dark out there, you know. But I had a friend live about a half a block down low, me, so he hurried me up there and he come up there. He said, hey, Sonny, what you doing out here, man? I said, man, I can't get in my house. He said, what you mean you can't get in your own house? I said, my old lady chained the lock on the door. He said, too bad for you, buddy. I said, man, ain't nothing you can tell me make me feel good. He said, no, Sonny, everything I tell you, you ain't gonna feel good over. I said, well, well, man, go ahead and tell me then, cause I can't feel no bad, no feeling, man. And this is what the fool said. He said, go around, man, and peep in that one and see who else you got in there. You know, I went all around and I did that to him. I tell y'all what I saw. I walk around to my window to see what I can see. She hugged me and kissed another man. And I know it won't be because she don't change. Well, she don't change the lock on the door. She said, that key you got, Terrence. Woo! Won't fit this old lock no more. Well, I thought I would do something else, you know, and I couldn't get in like that and nothing, no, she wouldn't let me in. I thought I'd go around by her bedroom, run and stand upside the door the house, you know, play a little lonesome blues, see what she feels sorry for me, ask me in. So when I signed something like this, you know. <laughs> Still got to uh, cut this shape out, square up the back a little bit, but that's kind of what she's going to look like. I'll do a little bit more touch-ups, but I don't change the lock on the door. She said, that key you got, Terrence. 